kick off the live show, we have an incredible poet. It's Jay Chambers! I write this 20 years your senior with the demeanour of making a change. Know that the light in you is the spark to make adults see the error of ways. Funny thing about history is being the change that you want to see. The chains are now broken, though hate is still spoken. What is the difference between you and me? Every struggle is overcome with focus and with poise. So walk tall with pride and with purpose and make use of your voice. Knowing where you come from can help you see where you're headed. And though we can learn from old mistakes, we must never forget it. Know your skin is sealed with the promise of a brighter day from the tear of every ancestor who fought for freedom along the way. Know your history is more than slavery. There were empires, dynasties, a whole world to explore, eclipsed by a momentary struggle that we had to endure. You see, the future is yours with an open mind and heart. Though I have to pass on the heavy baton for you to continue to fight for the simple freedoms for which we marched. Be street smart, as power is abused, but it can be used to support. When captured through the lens, it can defend your friends and disprove judgmental thoughts. One of the qualities of equality is that we all play a part, and so we all have to speak up for change to really start. Acknowledge each other in spaces with a nod to put a smile on your elders' faces. Trust in your instinct and I promise it will always take you to better places. I may be black history, but you are black future. More than a month, though less than a year, change is coming, and that's what some fear. Black is beautiful. Wait, what? That was amazing! <laughs> Give it up for Jay Chambers, everyone! Wow! Well, you know what? Welcome to Blue Peace, so you have 100% earned that BP badge. And you know, one thing that you said that really stuck with me is make use of your voice, because I think sometimes we can think, you know, my voice is too small, or will it really make a difference? But if you think about it, there was no one in history that was ever quiet and that made a difference. So thank you. What inspired you to write the poem? Um, firstly, with it being Black History Month, I mm. just kind of wanted to write something that I thought would resonate with young children and yeah. kind of think about what I wished I heard when I was younger watching TV. Yeah, that's good. You know, and as you just mentioned, October is Black History Month in the UK. And, you know, it was originally founded to celebrate the amazing contributions that African and Caribbean people have made through generations. Uh, so what does Black History Month mean to you? For me, Black History Month means daring to dream. Like, obviously, mm. grandparents coming from different countries had dreams when they came here. And, like, things like me being here today is a dream for them. So it's about being wow. brave enough to dream. Wow, dare to dream. I love that. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> and you had a lot of sentiment in that poem. So, you know, what kind of message would you like for me and you know BP viewers as well to take away from it? I think first message is kind of being proud of everyone being individual but secondly it's to also see Black History Month as a time to learn and come mm. together and to just really solidify as a community. Wow and of course today is National Poetry Day so what do you love about poetry Jay? One thing I love about poetry is having to test yourself to really make the words count on the page right. like when you're using different forms there's only a certain amount of words that you can use and so I just love the challenge of that really. Yeah very creative well you've inspired me thank you so much what an amazing way to start the show give it up for Jay Chambers everyone! Woo!